This helicopter's kind of gone wild on the internet. There are a lot of people with a lot of views on this thing, which means I fully expect ours to get about 800 views. If you're the 799th viewer, welcome. You're the last one here. <laughs> <laughs> we had the Blackhawk version of this on our channel and it was like 300 bucks and people were like, that's too much money. But yeah. some people some people bought it, but that was very expensive. Don't tell them how much this one costs. So I'm not gonna tell you how much this one costs. It you is can the just same, click the link and find out. It's the same size. It's got lights. The scale look is cool. It's got the sliding doors, you know, very minimal sliding. A motor, a motor. <laughs> it's got a brushless main rotor, a brushless tail rotor. The thing about this one though that makes it a little more expensive than the other is it's got a GPS on board so we can do some GPS things and we're going to do that in today's video. Comes in a case ready to fly uh, with a nice looking but off brand radio. I've never heard of Yu Ziang before but hopefully we hear more of them because it seems like a very nice helicopter that honestly anyone should be able to fly with a GPS on board. So let's get to the old school compass calibration. Oh man. Yeah, I know. No, I, know. I yeah. don't want to. Only one time whenever you fly at a new location, but still calibrate that compass. I hate that. This has everything about a drone written all over it. We had to wait for the satellites to connect. I've got a lock unlock switch. So we're gonna unlock it. We have to start the motors with uh, down and out or the motor, well it's motors and throttle up. So here's takeoff. I feel like all this is missing is like some really cool music. So that's a GPS lock helicopter, which is now getting to be more and more popular. And I love it on a large scale helicopter. It's kind of cool. Not that this is large, but if you saw these things get any bigger, I'd like to personally own a larger helicopter if it had a GPS lock, because these things scare the poop out of me, to be honest with you. I try to get better, but there you go. Look at that Coast Guard look. GPS lock, there's hands free. I, I just took my hands off the controls. Uh, and this is in some wind, so. Kind of amazing. <laughs> That's kind of amazing. It sounds crazy. It does. So we've got some nice rotation ability here. We can really make this thing fly around like a scale Coast Guard helicopter. We're off to save someone, right? looks really cool and i feel i feel really good about the gps lock i feel like i can trust this thing I'm pretty that sure is, you chose the wrong location to film at today. well we should have flown over some water yeah <laughs> totally uh this is super cool though that's full throttle ahead it's as fast as i can get it to go in low rates so let's swing it around and hit the high rate button we are in high rates now so let's see how much faster we can fly a little faster, not much faster, but again, this is in GPS mode. So we're having some fun in the GPS mode. Hands free, boom. And it just locks in place. So that's really nice because this helicopter also has a visual position hold. You can take GPS off and just go to visual position hold if you want to. We'll go up on that. And it's limited to a certain height when you're in this mode and it doesn't seem like it's actually kicked in yet but it still has like a nice auto level thing going, right? It's not gonna let me tip fully forward when we're in visual position hold. So that's nice, it's still beginner friendly. In other words, you can fly this helicopter if you're inside and it'll have a visual position hold lock. So we have a little bit more freedom here while we're going. And let's go back to GPS mode because there's some stuff that I wanna try with this helicopter if it will actually lock back in place. There we go, we're locked back in. So Abby, this has a fun feature that it talks about in the instructions and the controller has a circle on it. So I wanna see what it does. We're gonna push down on this switch and it should fly in a circle pattern. So down on the switch, it's gonna fly up to the height that it needs to be a predetermined height and it should fly in some type of pattern. This is all hands-free. All this movement you're seeing right now is very hands-free. So this, this is hands-free flight, all of this. That is crazy sounding. Very interesting pattern. Very interesting sound. And we'll just keep going. I'm gonna let it go one more time. Pretty cool. It's like a circle, you know. They're circula circling <laughs> the victim to rescue victim them. Victim or, yeah, okay. 
All right, so I'm gonna to try to give some input there. Just a little bit of forward motion uh, movement on the stick, took it out of that pattern. There's one more pattern. This is where it gets crazy. There's a okay. heart pattern. A heart so pattern? So let's do it. What? Let's three, two, one, heart pattern. Where's Amelia when we need her? Hands free, here we go, guys. This is totally hands free. It said it'll fly up and down some. And what it's gonna do, uh, you know what? That's too close to the camera. Let's pull it out some and I'll do that again, okay? Lower it and maybe it won't climb as much too. I think it's all a predetermined height. Oh, but yeah? I do want to bring it okay. out so we can actually get it. So we're going to do heart pattern. Three, two, one. From that beep on is hands free. I'm not touching a thing. It should make some type of heart pattern. Crazy, crazy, ridiculous, right? Coast Guard helicopter, GPS. It's, uh, I think it's thinking about its thing here. I don't know. This is all pre-programmed. Welcome to the world of RC. Did There's no clouds in the sky, so it's hard to see what it's doing. It said that it would uh, fly up, down, up, down it three is. times and then do the heart. So I think oh, it has okay. to like calculate. Okay. Well. So here we go. This this is all it. Ever since okay. that beep, I haven't touched anything. Here we go. This is now it's going to do it. Heart. So it says. I'm trying not to move my screen other than up and down. So. It said it do a heart. It's going, it's going, it's going, it's going. You see it, heart? <laughs> I don't think no. we're there yet. I think it's still doing the <laughs> no. up down thing. It's a really this ugly heart. It's a really, oh, I don't, I can't it's a see. really ugly heart. <laughs> it's a cool helicopter, but these features feel very unnecessary. Said it do a three dimensional heart. Was it sideways? This heart made it cost like a hundred more dollars. <laughs> So I think it's doing it, but I think it's like we're at the wrong angle, right? Like we should have okay. been facing it. Face it toward us and do it again. I'll do it again. No, let's not do it again. This, this is sucks. Very ridiculous. <laughs> okay, I'm thinking it's just gonna keep doing it, so I'm done. I'm done doing that. No need for the heart thing. That took forever. Now we can go full manual mode too, and I think it will actually allow the helicopter to to fly yeah, that inverted cool. and whatever you want to do. But this has so many features packed full. I wanted to highlight those features. I wanted to, you know, I don't know what our flight time is going to be. I will look and see what telemetry we have on the on the radio. It's telling me we actually have one bar of battery left, so we're very low. Oh, wow. Yeah. Hey, you remember that military, the, the uh, Blackhawk? It had a very short flight time, really? too. All these really advanced helicopters with all these features have super short flight times. But the good news is this does come with two batteries. They're very, very proprietary batteries too, because they lock in place as a part of the look of the helicopter. Finally, something we're not even going to get to show you in this video, is it does come with a camera that you can hook to the bottom optionally as well. Don't expect it to be super high quality, but it's there. So just for a fun, easy to fly helicopter that's really scale looking and detailed, I'm happy. There's so many people that's not gonna be happy with the price and I'm right there with you. But I'm also really mad when I go to McDonald's and spend 20 bucks too. I, I don't know 20 what bucks, say. you mean like 30 or 40 that's just on to myself, feed our family? Abby, that's just on myself. It's crazy. The lights look great even in this bright daylight. It's a very pretty helicopter. I, I really like this. But yeah, like everything's expensive now. So I don't really, it has returned to home, different flight modes. I can't go completely manual, which I'll do out here just for a second, because I want to know in manual mode, is it going to just, you know, go nuts? Oh my gosh. So let's just see real fast. Right? So when I'm in, when I'm in manual mode, nope, it's returning to home. As soon as I went <laughs> manual mode, it gave battery me dead. low battery. No, that's actually returned to home. I don't know. There's manual. That was you the hit, You hit the I'm wrong so button. I did. I did. <laughs> manual mode. Here we go. Will it let me, you know, fly and do flips basically is what I'm curious about. Not that I want to, but uh, let's just, it feels like it has auto level. It does, it does. So even in manual mode, it's got this auto level. See, it's not letting it tip over. So that's what I was worried about. This really truly is just a safe drone style flying helicopter. Well, hit return to home. Let's okay, see. Okay, let's do it. All right, return let's to home. That. Let's go. Yeah, so return to home, I flipped the switch. It's gonna do just like what drones do. 
Hey, yeah. some drones used to fly up and then fly away. So let's see if it can do it. This has a low battery safety net too. The helicopter community is basically gonna hate this. I can see it happening all over again, just like it did with the airplane community. All I had to learn to fly these with my own skill set. Now that they're auto everything, I, I can't stand it. Well, this might introduce some people to the hobby that wouldn't have flown helicopters otherwise, is all I can say about that. And and I'm, I know I'm right about that. Someone's going to fly this. That's all on its own, by the way. That's I haven't touched good. it since I threw that switch. I've actually put the radio behind my back so I could hopefully save the beeping. <laughs> uh, super cool. There you go. GPS, auto, everything, helicopter. Wow. They did what they could. I mean, you've got little shocks here on the wheels. They actually articulate. The wheels themselves are rubber, so when it touches down, it's a nice, soft, quiet, smooth landing. I mean, it's there. The detail is there. Uh, it's all brushless. I don't know what to say, guys. I'm personally impressed. The question is, who has $500 to spend on this? Does anyone have 500? It's like 450 or something. It'll be linked in the description box below. Yeah, it's packed full of technology and this is what happens. New tech comes out and then eventually someone's gonna have a GPS helicopter for 150 bucks. It is very cool and I'm super happy that it's in our collection. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the price is there and like I'm not going to pretend like it's not. You've got your brushless tail rotor, but super fun, really scale looking. I know for a fact there are people out there that are going to buy this. Is it the traditional hobbyist? Probably not. I would say percentage wise, this is going to appeal to way more people that aren't your traditional hobbyist. Where the traditional hobbyist or the new traditional hobbyist that uh, watches our channel probably will be turned off by this because of the price. But uh, it's cool, it's easy to fly. Anybody could fly this. It didn't give me any troubles doing the calibration. You actually saw, I'll probably include this in the video. Uh, it was super easy and super fast to do the calibration. That was the first time I did it after reading the broken English instructions and then doing it. It was very, very easy. So, so I like it. It'll, it'll probably remain in our collection, mainly just as a shelf queen, but occasionally we'll get it out to fly it just because it looks so good. I think you're gonna fly this again over water. Maybe we'll do That's a water video. Happened. That would be fun. Flying this over water. Mission. Yeah, All could... it needs is a grappling hook, man. That would be so cool. If there was a winch. Where's the stinking no, there's hook? the visual position hold camera, oh. right? So if it had a grappling hook that you could actually, because it's GPS locked, that's a great idea. That'd be so oh, cool. Oh, you could have so much fun picking things up yeah. and a bucket of water on the bottom of it. And oh, that would be so much fun. A tiny bucket, like yeah, a Barbie little, size yeah. bucket. You could probably pick up some extra weight. <laughs> this is what I was talking about with the proprietary batteries. It's actually, you probably couldn't even tell that was the battery. And it came with an extra one of these and a very unique charger so that it could actually charge that battery. Uh, so really neat, really just a neat thing. I'm happy it exists. Just because it exists doesn't mean you have to buy it. But let me know in the comments, guys. Is it appropriately priced? Is it very cool? Is it something you would buy? Do you know someone you'd buy this for? Is like the perfect Christmas gift or something? It'll be linked in the description box below. Know that using those links does help to support our channel and our family. We're very grateful to you. Whether you're flying airplanes that you see on our channel all the time, a lot lately, because I love it, or it's a helicopter or a drone, I highly recommend you fly with AMA Insurance. That's the Academy of Model Aeronautics. Basically, for a fraction of the cost of this helicopter, you can be insured for the entire year. Get a very cool magazine subscription. It'll be linked in the description box below near the link to this helicopter. Fly with AMA, it's a no-brainer. I can't tell you how amazing it is to be outside flying in just such a beautiful weather kind of day today. Abby got to fly a plane earlier. We're out flying this helicopter. What an awesome day today is. And we're very blessed, and so I thank the big guy upstairs for for blessing us with this weather today and just to just to be alive in general I'm very happy finally i want to say a massive thanks to our patreon supporters you guys are uh just awesome you know sometimes companies will send us something or send it at a reduced price or whatever we're very very transparent we always have been since day one i'm not going to sugarcoat this thing some guys out there saying you know it's a steal for the price or whatever i, I don't know i haven't watched anyone else's videos but i i'm always going to shoot straight with you i had a great experience with this but yes it's expensive and i am so blunt and always have been since day one on our channel as a big thanks to our patreon supporters you guys just you support us 
big time and uh, it allows us to be blunt and transparent and I say thank you from the bottom of our hearts and I, I ask and encourage you if you're not a Patreon supporter to consider signing up uh, so that we can continue this channel that's been around for a decade of family friendly content where we just have fun with RC, let you guys know if it's good or not, if we like it or not and show real world experience of it. So a massive thanks. I have another helicopter video, the one I talked about, the Black Hawk. Comes in actually cheaper than this, still very fun to fly. We have a video of that that'll be popping up right about now. Thanks for watching, we'll see you there. Bye.